Egypt's government has declared a war on terror, and by any definition, terrorists are here. Ansar Beit al Maqdis, or supporters of Jerusalem, is one of several jihadi groups based in Egypt's largely lawless Sinai Peninsula. Claiming inspiration from Al Qaeda, they've launched missiles into Israel, but their most frequent targets are domestic. From a failed attack on the shipping lanes of the Suez Canal, to a military helicopter downed in Sinai, their use of sophisticated weapons has many alarmed. So, too, has their encroachment into Egypt's heartland, a deadly bombing at a police station in Mansoura in December, a series of bombings in the capital last month, all of which has led Ansar Beit al Maqdis to be called the most frustrated terrorist group in the world. Time after time, it claims responsibility for attacks, only to have Egypt's government blame the Muslim Brotherhood. The government branded the Brotherhood a terrorist group after the Mansoura bombing though presented little evidence of its involvement in the ABM-claimed attack. Some point to the actions of deposed President Mohamed Morsi, who came from the Brotherhood during his year in power. Security analyst Sameh Saifel Yazel says Morsi's amnesty of jailed terrorists and allowing others to enter the country during his presidency, as well as the rise of ABM attacks after, are damning. But any ties remain murky, and the arrest of protesting students, journalists, and others on terror-related charges only appears to muddy the waters further. Political activist Wal Khalil says the government's current path leaves terrorists at large, while possibly creating more. And with more foreign fighters reportedly coming to Sinai daily, Egypt's government, like Syria before it, may find it needs as many people on its side as possible. Elizabeth Arrett, VOA News, Cairo.